Hi, hi. This is Evolving with Etta. And welcome to Vlogmas Day number three. Stop the presses. Day number three. <laughs> Already confused. Sorry, that's Vlogtober number three. So, today's little relationship tidbit I just wanted to share with you. Being right versus being heard. Um, this is going to be a quick one. A lot of times we are caught up with getting our points across when we feel as though we are saying what you need to hear. We are saying what is our truth. We are saying what you just can't seem to get through your thick skull. That's not a good way to look at things. Because in our minds, we know we're just trying to get our point across. So with the being right, your partner sees this. You're trying to tell me I'm doing something wrong or I'm not doing it your way. So it's wrong. But in being heard, what you really should be doing is stating your point or saying exactly how it is that you feel and presenting this to them with their feelings and mine and always understand when talking to your partner you need to put yourself in their shoes because how you deliver your message and how they receive it could be two separate things you could feel that you're doing this one particular way but them receiving that message could have a whole nother meaning so know exactly who it is that you're talking to and how it is that you're talking to them. How you would want to receive a message, especially if it's something that you're trying to get your point, a uh, situation where you're trying to get your point across. Understand how they would feel if you were coming to them trying to get, you know, the same type of response from you. If you want a positive response, it should have a positive effect. So be very careful when you're going at your partner. I mean, sometimes you just can't help it. But if you want a positive outcome, you want to speak with them in regards of how you would want them to speak with you. And some of us are a little more combative than others. Some are maybe are more passive than your partner. But you want to be respectful and presenting a situation to your partner if you want them to receive it appropriately so that they can at least have a positive thought about what you're saying or if you want some type of resolution to something, you will want the positive information fed out there appropriately. But if it's something negative and it's something bad, I'm sure they won't do anything but hear you trying to prove your point and not trying to actually get them to hear what you're saying. So take your time in presenting your point. Make it clear. Be kind and considerate of their feelings, but you don't have to not express how you feel because they need to know. If you're not telling someone how it is that you're feeling and what you need from them, they'll never know. So some things just have to be said, but just pay attention to how you're saying it and how you want it to be received. And that could just change the world. So that's my little tidbit for today. I hope it's helpful information. I hope it's something valuable that you can use one day at some point in your life. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. To evolve is to live.